Okay. Hey guys, uh, Brian out of here, and no, Blastimus, I'm not done with the gauntlet. Uh, I want to talk with you guys about movement tech for Titanfall 2. So we just had a run at SGDQ. It was a pretty big success, and we have a lot of new people in the community. So I kind of want to talk with you guys about how exactly the movement tech in this game works. Um, if you hear any random comments, that's because I'm talking to my chat and Twitch here. I know, isn't last the most of the worst? So, um, the basic, the most basic mechanic in Titanfall 2 is slide hopping. Um, and that's just when, when you have any amount of speed, like any amount of speed at all, and then you hold crouch, you will start a slide. Like so. And what you can do from that is uh, you can jump. So now you have a slide hop. As you can see, you can just kind of do this in any direction. But if you hold W, you're not really going to get anywhere. You won't be able to turn. Um, and it's pretty... So slide hopping is, is, is fairly straightforward. You slide, and then you jump. Um, you're going to want to make sure to jump as soon as you hit the ground. You do have a bit of leeway with your timing. I mean, you can like slide for a little bit, but you are going to lose a bit of speed. It's just the, slide, it's the smallest bit. So you want to be jumping as soon as you hit the ground. Every single time. You don't want to have any time on the ground, basically. So just... You're gonna want to have to learn. You're, it's, you'll learn the rhythm. It'll become natural if it's not if it isn't immediately. Um, but I mean, yeah. I mean, you just jump as soon as you hit the ground. It's pretty straightforward. So um, now you might be asking, well, how do you slide hop around corners? How do you go in curves? Um, this is this takes use of what's called air strafing. If you've played a Source game before, or practiced movement in a Source game before, or did like CS:GO surfing or something like that, you're gonna be familiar with what air strafing is. Air strafing is based on the concept that you move faster and go farther when you're holding left or right in the air as opposed to holding W or forward. Um, and so it's going to feel kind of weird at first uh, trying to go forward while you're holding A or D for that matter. Um, just just keep in mind, I was in your shoes before too and it gets it gets easier. I remember when I tried learning slide hopping, I thought I was like I thought to do it properly I'd have to look, look sideways and then hold left and then do it like this. It's, that's not how that works. So, um, the best way I can tell you how to do this is you, you sprint and then jump. Make sure you let go of W. Or I guess you don't have to let go of W. Rather, you sprint and then jump and then just you press A and you hold crouch. And just just try just try starting off with this. Jumping, pressing A, holding crouch. And that's that, that'll be kind of really give you like the first idea of how to do it. And you can see like when you hold it, you, you kind of start to move to the left a little bit. And also, you can do this the other direction. You can hold T. Anyway, so just kind of get that down. And then try just jumping while you're doing it. And you don't have to try and turn your mouse or anything. Just just get used to the idea of holding A and jumping while you're slide hopping. Um, because it, it, does feel, it does feel awkward. You know, you're thinking like, I want to be going forward, but I'm holding left. Um, if, you're, if you're running on console, I, uh, I would recommend looking somewhere else. For advice on how to do this, uh, I do not use controller. I think Frothy Omen specifically has a movement tutorial for controllers. Anyway, so now uh, we're, you're going to want to start incorporating mouse movements into your slide hops. So generally speaking, um, you, you're going to want your mouse movements to be smooth. Uh, you don't. I mean, there are situations when a sharp mouse movement is applicable, but generally speaking, when you are air strafing and slide hopping, you want to be. You, you want to have smooth movements. So, so for example, I'm going to jump, hold A. And then I'm just going to slightly move my mouse to the left. Just slightly. I'm not like moving it really fast or something like that. If you go too, if you go too fast, you will actually like lose speed. And uh... So you can see like if I do it like this. See how much speed I lost right there by moving my mouse too fast? So you just want to you, you want to you want to be smooth. Um, and you want to make sure, so... You can't use your double jump while you're holding A, because then you'll do like a kind of sideways jump and you'll lose a lot of speed, as you can see. Um, for for getting the most momentum to go forward while you're trying to go around a corner, um, I just like flick my finger over to W real quick and then back to A or back to D. So like I'm going in a left, I'm going uh, like doing a straight to the left. I do W and then back to D. And you can you can look on my no board in the bottom left corner or bottom right corner how I'm doing that. Anyway, so um, those are the basics of slide hopping and air strafing. Um, whenever you're traveling in a straight line, you're going to want to be like weaving back and forth. So it's going to be left, right, left, right. Think of it as like a ski slalom. Um, you just want to be 
so the easiest way to explain this would be just to Ultra just to look combat. at my uh just to look at my mouse or my rather my inputs here so you can see i'm just kind of rocking my cursor left and right and then switching off to a and d accordingly so it's just d a d a d and i mean it's, it really becomes a rhythm and it is something you will get down um And the best way to learn that is just, I mean, again, it's practice and watching people who have done it a lot, like the guy you're watching right now. Um, so these are the kind of, these are the, these are the bare bones basics of, of slide hopping in this game. Um, air strafing is super important and it is a very important technique to learn. Um, and air strafing will be important in everything you do in the run. There's a lot of jumps in this game that require specific air strafing. Um, so I think while we're here, let's talk about, uh, Let's talk about wall mechanics now. We'll move on to more complicated air strafing in a bit. So now we're going to move to... Uh, let me make sure I covered everything I wanted to. So it's slide hopping, air strafing, slalom. Okay, so now let's move on to wall mechanics. So you have a wall run in this game, as well as a double jump. Um, wall running is pretty basic. Uh, you can't jump on the same surface twice. Um, or you can't wall run on the same surface twice without like a brief delay and you will lose speed. As you can see, like if I jump and then try and get back to it, it won't let me grab it immediately. This mechanic is kind of arbitrary, but it is one we have to play around. So, um, what else? Uh, you can you can uh, like grab onto the same wall if it's curved. If there's like a slight curve in it, the game is pretty generous about letting you grab it twice like that. For example, um, and generally speaking, you're gonna want to get used to the game like adjusting your aim for you when you look at a wall. It's pretty annoying, but it does happen. I'm not even moving the mouse right now, and the game is just adjusting my aim for me, so get used to that. Um, you also have a wall jump, and uh, that, that's about that's about it for wall mechanics in terms of like the very basic ones. There's some uh, special ones that are very important to the speedrun. So the first thing to note is that uh, is a technique called wall kicks. So wall kicks um, are basically when you when you approach the wall, if you jump off within. It's, I believe it's a three frame window to get the maximum speed boost. You can be a bit slower and still get a decent speed boost. Um, when, when you jump off the wall within three frames of touching it, you get a, you get basically a percentage of your speed back and more. Um, so you get, you get a pretty noticeable speed boost. And I can just do this over and over and you can see how much faster I go. Just like that. Anyway, um, so, wall so wall kicks are a super important technique, especially for something like the gauntlet. So, um, I'm not. So I won't do the full gauntlet right now, but I mean, you can just see the benefits of doing something like wall kicks here. Like you can see my speedometer on the left side here. So I'm going, let's say, 35 right now. Wall kick. I'm already going. I would get like a little four kilometer per hour speed boost there, and that's not even a perfect wall kick. Um, let me see if I can get like a decent one here. And so every time I do this wall kick, see, so you saw all that jumped up right there. I'm going to gain speed every time I do a wall kick. So let me see if I can get into a good area here. So generally speaking, it's always going to be slower to do a long wall run than it is to do like just a wall kick. And you see, I got up to 50 kilometers an hour just without anything else aside from wall kicks. They're a super important technique that you really do need to learn you just beat Commander Briggs. if Why you want to run this game. I beat Briggs without doing anything. Get wrecked. Sarah. Alright, um, and so the next mechanic to cover for wall mechanics is what's called uh, edge boosting. Did you guys hear that voice crack? It's like SGDQ all over again. Um, so the next thing to learn, it's called edge boosting. So when you run off, so basically when you wall jump at the latest possible time from a wall, uh, you get a similar speed boost to if you wall kicked. So like if I run on this wall and then jump at the very end, I get what's called an edge boost. Uh, or this technique is called edge boosting. So it's kind of hard to to figure out when the timing is, but you can see like when I right when I'm about to leave the wall grab, my aim will kind of a uh, there'll be like a slight adjustment. You can see how my if you watch the cursor, it kind of moves over to the right just a little bit, like on this wall here, like that. So you want to be jumping off basically. I mean, your character model is probably going to be like about right here, like not quite touching the wall, right there. So you can see how my cursor does a little jig, like right. Like that one. And I'm going to be basically jumping on those frames. And so that, you can see like the distance I got from that. 
And so just watch if I just do like a regular wall jump. It's like not even comparable. Um, it's it's a very it's again it's one of those very important techniques that that doesn't see a lot of it isn't discussed a lot, but it is very important. It's something that is of the utmost important for you utmost importance for you to learn. Um, so those are so let's see we've covered slide hopping, air strafing, uh, kind of like the solo movement, wall kicks. Now let's talk. A, let, let, let me let me backtrack and talk a bit more about wall kicks. So wall kicks depend on the angle and the speed at which you approach the wall. Um, when you chain multiple wall kicks together, the faster you're going to be able to go. Um, and also, so for example, if I approach the wall like this and then I do a wall jump, the speed boost I get from that is not is going to be much slower than if I if I take a much shallower angle. So the more shallow angle you approach the wall from, ge uh, generally speaking, the better your wall kick will be. All done with the um, so, let me try something like here. So I do like an edge boost here, wall kick, air strafe. This isn't even an optimal route and I'm actually not playing very well right here, but anyway. I mean, you get the idea. I'm always going to want to be taking a sh the shallow angle as possible when I'm kicking from the wall. And you'll see I set up that shallow angle by, uh, by air strafing. Yeah. <laughs> So 23 second gauntlet without frags, it's pretty good. Anyway, um, so now let's talk about air strafing and big jumps. Um, I think the best example for why air strafing is important for big jumps would be something like uh, for something like the Beacon Chapter Two. You know what? Let's take a let's take a ride over to the Beacon Chapter not the, uh, the Beacon Chapter Two, and I will show you why all these techniques are important. So we just gotta wait for it to load here. How you doing, Angelo? I found a way to teleport Sarah to the elevator on trial by fire. I think I saw that in the uh, in the Discord. So we'll see right off the bat. Whoops. I'm not gonna let myself get away from that. Yo, Satra! Thank you for the five dollar tip, dude. Congrats on SGDQ. I hope it was a blast for you both. Dude, it was a blast. We had a really, really good time. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. All right. So, oops. All right. So, let me try this again. <laughs> I'm not gonna let myself get away from get away with that. So, as you can see, I'm doing air strafing here. I'm slaloming back, slaloming back and forth. The last pilot our unit went down pilot. Loud you can just kind of look at my uh, keyboard, my keyboard progress. inputs to understand what's going Channel on here. Wall kick, wall kick, and air strafe. Air strafing around this corner. Wall kick, wall kick, wall kick. Be air strafing, slide hop, whoops, oh I got the, I got the slow death animation with him, okay. Alright, now we're going to do an air strafe around the corner. You can see the boost, the speed boost I get from wall kicks just right here, it's pretty massive. Oops, knocked my head. I'm gonna do air striking all the way down here. So I can build speed to initiate a slide hop into here. Grab the arc tool. So this is kind of all the techniques, all in, uh, all in motion at once. All right, so I want to talk. So this, so this part is where I want to talk about um, air strafing in the context of like big jumps. So coming up here, this is heat sink skip. This is one of the, especially for new players, this is going to be one of the most difficult skips for you. I'm um, just letting you know right now. So basically, what we're going to be doing is we're jumping from this little door right here all the way over to there. It skips walking through this room. And it saves around 15 seconds. It's a, it's a pretty decent time save. So um, how this is going to work is when you, when you when you jump from a wall, you're going to get pushed away from it. Um, so we're going to allow we're going to let ourselves get pushed away from the wall with the wall jump, and then we're going to strafe back toward the wall. The timing is pretty uh, the timing is is pretty specific. So again, this is something where you where you're going to want to watch what my inputs are. But basically, we're going to jump away and then air strafe back, and then uh, actually. 
we're gonna airstrike to the left and then finally airstrike back to the right for just a little bit more uh, distance. You don't have to kill those guys. Uh, if you're really worried about hitting them, you can, but I mean, I never do that. So, to set this up, I'm just gonna come right here, jump away, airstrike back, and then airstrike back to the right. So again, watch my inputs really closely. And also another way to set this up while I'm here, if you guys don't like doing this to set up the jump, because it can be kind of uh, can be kind of tricky, you can come over here and set it up this way too. Though it can be mind it is slower. Hey, have fun, hun. And you can see how I'm incorporating just those slight mouse movements too into this. So I'll, I mean, basically, a lot of the big jumps that you do in this game are going to look like that in terms of air strafing. Oh, that was actually really bad. So that shows you what not to do. I moved my mouse too sharply and I didn't strafe fast enough. And so one more time, we'll just go ahead and do that. And these are the very basics of uh, all the movement for the speedrun. So yeah, so to recap, we covered basic slide hopping, air strafing, uh, slaloming back and forth. We covered wall kicks, um, wall mechanics, uh, edge boosting, air strafing in the context of big jumps. Surprising it die immediately. Yeah, those are. I mean, those are the base. These are the. This this is the the most comprehensive video I think you'll find for movement relating to speedrunning. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to stop by my stream anytime. Leave a comment below uh, when this is on YouTube. Um, yeah, I believe I, I pr I'm pretty sure that's everything. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And then I would cut the video.